My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, two very important figures in the early church, two apostles sent in different ways. Peter sent to the Jewish people, Paul to the Gentiles. We want to see in their life examples of how God will use the lowest and the unlikely. It was unlikely that an uneducated fisherman would be sent to preach the gospel to educated, Torah-knowing Jews. It was also very unlikely that such a staunch defender of Judaism would be converted and sent to the Gentiles, those explicitly whom he was against receiving the faith prior. But God surprises us. And we hear in the gospel today a message that should give us a lot of courage. Jesus says to Peter, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against the church. Now, oftentimes when we hear this as Catholics, we think that we have the kingdom of heaven set up like a, a, like a city, and hell trying to attack the gates of the city of God, and that those forces won't overcome the gates of of the city of God. But that's not what Jesus said. He said that the, ch- that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Now, when you want to control a city and to stop it from exerting any power, you go and you occupy the gates. And therefore, you can control what is, what is coming in and out of that city. The gates of hell not prevailing against the church means that the church is not on defense. It is on offense. The church is not sitting here in fear. Rather, we are called to be on the offensive. We only need to look at the Acts of the Apostles. The very story of the Apostle Paul. One who was persecuting the church. And yet, the simple prayer of St. Stephen, asking that, there, that his sin not be held against him, willing to suffer like Christ with patience and love, willing to pray for his enemies the way Jesus told us, obtains the grace of the conversion of St. Paul. So we too today, with patience and forbearance and charity towards all those who oppose the church today, should be praying Again, not in pride, not in saying those people, but rather recognizing that we have been treated mercifully by God and we simply want God to treat others as mercifully as we have been treated. So today we celebrate this great witness of Peter and Paul, their staunch preaching and defense of the faith, And we trust that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, that the church shall prevail because Jesus has spoken it.